Hey Nation, what is going on? We are with Bill Murphy at New England Aquarium celebrating Octopus Month. Today's October 1st. We have a full month of fun activities for everyone to do. And so today we are going to be meeting Tatoosh. So Bill, do you want to tell us a little bit about Tatoosh? Sure. He's a male Pacific octopus. He came from British Columbia. And uh, he's been with us for about two months now. He's been on display for a little, not even a month, uh, about three weeks. Awesome. So, We'll see how he does and keep he's hungry. Cool. So everybody that's watching, let us know where you're tuning in from. We have members from all over the world. So let us know where you're tuning in from down below in the comment section. And let's meet Satoosh. Let's go. Awesome. So it's super exciting to see a giant Pacific octopus um, here at New England Aquarium. Those of you who have been to New England Aquarium, what you doing, Bill? <laughs> I try to train them that when I slap the water, it's a sign for feeding and interacting. Okay. So what I do is I slap the water, it's a signal to kind of come over. He's still new, I'm still working on it. So I like to try it a couple times. Sometimes he works, sometimes he doesn't. And Bill here is highly experienced. He's been here for 15 years, going on 16 years. So he's trained a lot of octopuses. Have you found this to be like really good at getting them to come and training them? It does. Like once they learn it, it's actually great. They um. You slap the water, they come right over once they learn it and know it. Awesome. Hey, Tatoosh, what's going on? Octonation is here. For those of you who have been to New England Aquarium, comment down below. Let us know uh, when you last came. Um, they are open now. They would be excited for you to head on over, say hello. You could come and meet Tatoosh. He's famous now. <laughs> and so, Cy Montgomery... Um, she told me, she's like, please send me videos of Tatoosh. This is the setting of where Cy Montgomery wrote the book, The Soul of an Octopus. Um, she has a lot of friends here. And um, so, yeah, we have Tatoosh coming on over. You can see here, he's tasting with his suckers. Hey, Tatoosh, what's going on? Look how beautiful. Look at that color. I know, he's a beautiful color. Did you, did you see him just turn? He just turned like a mottled red maroon color. What does it mean when they do that? It's just a sign of the personality and what they're, they're doing and feeling at the time. A lot of times, his, this is his like kind of active color. So this is a nice, hungry, lunchtime color. And look, you can see those spikes, the papilla, on its mantle, which is just like their bag of tricks that it contains all of their organs um their three hearts their blue blood hey look at the touche the way we feed them we feed them nice like healthy shrimp and some capelin nice capelin. fish they love capelin look at that look at their suckers takes it right in there to the beak Public side's getting a good show right now, seeing him up moving around. Yeah. They can't see us, but sometimes they'll see my hand reaching in the water to feed him. Uh-huh. So, looks kind of like, right now it just looks like an octopus like moving around on the wall. <laughs> but that's why I sometimes like to like put my hand in the water sometimes so they can see that a human's interacting with them. That way they got to feel like what's actually happening and like, oh my god, they're doing it, look at that! So, it's a lot of fun to see the public's reaction. And people are always curious, will Tatoosh learn who you are? Absolutely. That's, I've, since he came in, I've been interacting with him and feeding him. So I always kind of interact with him like this, so he gets a, a taste of me, so uh -huh. he knows who I am. And so when I reach out and touch his hand, he goes like, oh, I, I know you. <laughs> you give me food. And so he comes on over. So octopuses and their suckers, they have chemoreceptors. So they have some olfactory organs in their suckers. So he's actually tasting and smelling Bill right now. He's like, hey, I know you. <laughs> Yeah. Look at him. What a beautiful color. He came in like a striking deep red when he first came in. Uh -huh. So it's been awesome to see that coloration on him. And so when he turns this nice mottled white, it's even more striking because it gets a deep red. And for those of you who are watching, definitely ask your questions down below. If you're curious about anything about Tatoosh, ask your questions down below. We'll get some people to answer that. I can answer some questions. But yeah, Tatoosh is a giant Pacific octopus. Um, quick facts about them. They have 2,200 and 
40 suckers. That's a lot of suckers. And they're actually pretty strong. So the bigger the sucker is, the more pressure they have. And <laughs> look. Oh, go take it a run. Bye. And so some octopuses, you know, because they have short-term and long-term memory, they come in, they have different personalities, right? So you never know. And, and Tatush is relatively new here. So he's like, that when I get the food, that's pretty much all I need you for. <laughs> but over time, you know, what we what we find is that they start developing a relationship, they'll stay over, they'll interact a whole lot more. What are um, some big differences between males and female giant Pacific octopuses? Uh, it seems like so far the personalities are no different. A lot of the females we've had have been really like interactive and personable. Uh -huh. uh, very curious. The males sometimes seem a little more standoffish. Yeah. Um, but there's also different, so you can tell the males and females by looking at their arms, and that will give you the, you can find a male arm, and that way you can tell which one it is, if you can try and find it. Like, it's hard to kind of count the third arm, but yeah, you can just kind of look at all the arms, look at the tip of the arm, and see that it has suction cups at the very end, yes. or it's missing. So the aquarium is open, so people could come by. If you're in the area, or if you're um, traveling to the area, definitely come by New England Aquarium. Um, they also have their Mission Forward Fund, so these octopuses got to eat, <laughs> and there's staff here to take care of them. How many animals do you have here at New England Aquarium? Oh, man. Thousands. Thousands. Tens of thousands, most likely. And all of them have to eat. They're all being very well taken care of by staff here. Bill Murphy, like I said, he's been here for 15 years, going on 16 years. They keep him employed. So if you go to the Mission Forward Fund, N-E-A-Q, dot org slash give you can give a donation there and if you do give a donation definitely comment down below let us know that you gave a donation so we can celebrate you um but i think that's it from satoosh today so that's about it. yeah that's so what, this is what he does this is what he does guys this is an octopus and you know we, you don't really want to do, after they're done like there's really no reason to mess with them anymore right so <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, the other thing, too, is we don't mess with him. Like, if he didn't want to come over, we wouldn't force him. Yeah. He, he comes over, we give him food. If he leaves, he leaves. Yep. Let him do his thing, and that's what we do. Awesome. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. Um, we're going to be doing this. We're going to be going around to aquariums all over the nation and introducing you to some of the octopuses that they have. Um, definitely share these videos and, um, and get the word out that it's Octopus Month. And uh, we're going to head out. But um, let's say bye to Bill real quick. Bye, bye Bill. Thanks for visiting. And again, um, neaq.org slash give. Um, they really need your help. So thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon.